What's going on YouTube? Gias right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to check whether a tweak is compatible with your device or your iOS version before installing it and therefore preventing any problems like boot loops and so on. So you probably know that if you install a tweak that is not compatible there can be a lot of problems. Your device can even refuse to boot anymore. That is called a boot loop. A boot loop is a condition where the device would show the Apple logo but it will never proceed from that point. And unfortunately installing an incompatible tweak tweak or a tweak that's broken can indeed result in a boot loop. Now there is this website in here called Tweak Compatible and this one is actually a godsend for anybody who is jailbroken on iOS 11, iOS 12 and so on. Now this is actually community driven. You can add tweaks in here, you can report whether they work or not and as I said since it's community driven people actually test before marking them as whether working or not working. So you can see you have in here a search bar, you have filters for working, likely working, not working or unknown and of course have the sort by recent, most reviewed, alphabetical and the iOS versions. Now you can actually install this on your jailbroken device by pressing in there and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But if you want to check it online this is actually open source available on GitHub and you can search for a tweak. For example let's say new term 2. So new term and that should be the terminal. As you can see, the new term 2 version 2.1 is compatible and it has been reported by the community as being compatible on iOS 12.1.2. Of course, I can scroll and select whatever version I want, but the new term version 1.0 beta 1 has been marked as not being working. So if you install this one in here, you might as well have serious problems with your device or it may simply not open. However, things can go even worse. For example, AppSync has been known for creating boot loops on iOS 10 when the jailbreak has been released because it wasn't compatible and people installed it, so they basically boot loop their device. Well, is there any way to get out of a boot loop? Unfortunately, many of the times it's not the case. You will need to update to the latest version available from iTunes, which means that you cannot jailbreak anymore until a jailbreak for the latest version is available and many of the times when you restore the device you will lose your data. So installing bad or incompatible tweaks is a very bad idea. So I would definitely recommend you to check all the tweaks that you do not know or that you never tested before, before even installing them. So now I'm going to show you how to install this on your device so that you can see on your CDM whether the tweak has been marked that's working or not working. So let's switch to the device. So I'm on my device in here, it's jailbroken with Uncover on iOS 12, but of course you can be even on iOS 11 and even iOS 10 and it would still work. So I'm gonna go here in Cydia and what I need to install is this, Tweak Compatible version 0.1.5, you press in here install and that's basically it. All right, so as you can see after you install it, it shows in here Tweak Compatible before your repo, then you go in here and as you can see you have the website which is automatically in place. Now if you go ahead for example and search for let's say Falza, I'm going to search for Falza in here and there you go, Falza File Manager and as you can see it shows in here to install it and if you go ahead in here it shows working. So you can see that it's been marked as working so definitely nice. It says in here status, this package version has been marked as working based on feedback from users. So you can even show reviews, show the versions and so on. Another tweak, new term like this in here, you can see that this particular version, version 1.0 beta 1 which does show up in Cydia, says in here not working. And and even the repo itself says that it's compatible with 10.3.3 and lower. But yeah, it shows in here as not working, so you know that it's completely not working and you know not to install it. I think that this is a very, very good enhancement to Cydia and I definitely recommend it so that you avoid bad tweaks that can damage your jailbreak or your iOS version. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am Gio Snow. If this video helped you, give it a thumb up, if it didn't, give it a thumb down, till the next time, peace out.